What's up, guys? Welcome back to another live stream. It's Saturday night, and all of you already know by now that Chris has nothing better to do than just live, fish, aquarium, everything. So this is my life. I figured I'd just hang out tonight. I'm doing a bunch of editing, and I figured that we would kind of just like... Uh, we can modify a filter. I don't really have a lot of ideas, but the people keep asking for uh, to keep modifying filters. They're like, hey, Chris. Um, by the way, Caleb Aquatics is the first here. Caleb Aquatics. Um, Aquaball says, hey, buddy. Monster Fish Keeper says, hey, Chris. Facebook notifications came through on time for once. Uh, Facebook notifications. Uh, what, what do you mean? I, I was just in a couple of the Facebook groups going live, so... Um, Big Smooth Aquatic says, what's up, Chris? It's been a while. Yes, it has been a while. And I've been working really hardcore in the shop. Uh, I have, actually, I'm editing right now some videos and updates for the shop. So it's going to be really cool. Um, but yeah, let, let me bring up the chat here. Sorry, it's been a while. I'm kind of out of, out of the realm. Um, I got a lot of cool videos coming up and I'm editing. So... Let's make sure I am muted. Okay, Aquatic says, yo, Matt, I wish I was at the Ohio Fish Rescue. I know, right? It seems like if you're not at the Ohio Fish Rescue lately, you've been living under a rock. But uh, Lewis says, hey, buddy. Yeah, it's a, uh, it sucks because not all of us live in Ohio. And I swear to God, Ohio is like the fish keeping capital of the world because there's so many fish keepers in Ohio. And I am so jealous that I don't live there. All right, so how the heck, um, I need to bring up this chat. Filter pumping is what I do. OFR is amazing. Yes, Matt, it's been a while since we've talked. Your channel's really taken off, huh? I knew it would. Um, a lot of people give up, but you have not given up. So I'm glad to see that. And um, all right, here's the chat. I can, I can just see little chat tidbits on my camera, so it's, uh... <sighs> All right, let me check out this chat. Palmer, not trying to get off topic or anything, just wondering what you think of pre-filter sponges and on a hang on the back. I have them on mine. Pre-filter sponges are great, but sometimes what I would tell people is that pre-filter sponges can easily get clogged and a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just make my own out of a 20 um, PPI sponge, but I feel like even 20 PPI can sometimes not be coarse enough. Like sometimes a 10 PPI would be better and that's like the super, super coarse, you know, sponge because, uh, and a lot of people say that, hey, you know, a pre-filter sponge is great because it's also added filtration but if it clogs up man all of a sudden it's like your whole filter screwed because if it's clogged up and it's putting uh, friction on the impeller in the entire system it's it's bad news <clears throat> yeah matt's monster fish is up to 5,000 subs so that's really cool <clears throat> yes and uh we're going to be talking about modifying one of these fluval u-series filters and to be completely honest, I don't use, I have a bunch of this stuff and I never use it. And I guess I'm kind of kind of just gonna be like, um, you know, modifying it with you guys. So I figured it would be kind of cool. And um, yeah, <clears throat> one second though, guys. Um, I, I really wanna, I have to upload something and I wanna start it. So it's actually, what am I thinking? I'm not, I shouldn't upload while I'm live. That's a terrible idea. That will kill the quality. <sighs> All right. Andrea Needle says, Palmer, I went to a fish show today in North Carolina. It was pretty weak. I don't like the idea of people keeping the fish in bags and keeping them in plastic bags all day. What's your opinion? You know, that's a really common uh, practice to keep fish in bags all day. And if it's done properly, the fish are completely fine. Like a lot of people use raw oxygen, pure oxygen in the bag, and they do absolutely fine. And especially like when they ship fish, it's um, it's perfectly fine. And but if it's done poorly, not a great idea. But that that is the key factor. So 
Martin says, hey, do you think an aqua clear 70 is enough for a 40 breeder with two little fancy goldfish? Yeah, I would think so. As long as, uh, the thing with goldfish is just keep up on your water changes. Um, get some live plants going. I would look into some floating plants. Someone is like banging on the floor up there and they're gonna get killed. I'm on a live stream. <laughs> All right. <sighs> hey Palmer, I have a 100 gallon tank and have one Oscar and a few silver dollars. Any opinions on some cool tank mates? All right, let me read this again. I have one Oscar and a few silver dollars. Any opinions on some cool tank mates? Um, if I had a 100 gallon tank and some silver dollars and an Oscar, I would, is that, a, if it's a six foot tank, I would run with it. Uh, I would get some Severums, I would get some Jack Dempsey's, I would get Green Terrors, but make sure, uh, that being said, there's an advocate there. If your Oscar fish is pretty big and it's gonna eat the other fish, you may have to get a, you know, larger size other fish. All right, guys, let's um, let's jump to modifying this filter. So this is the Fluval U series, and it's a uh, this is what it looks like when I open it up, and essentially there's a bunch of cartridges in here, which is a really cool idea. This is the ceramic media. You can see the ceramic media in there. Cassandra says, I love the Severums. Yes, so Cassandra is a local to me. I wanna give a shout out to her. It's not, it's not often that you meet fish keepers that are local to you, especially like eight minutes away. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to be able to do a, I'd like to tour. Um, I don't do enough touring of local fish keepers tanks and I'd like to like, you know, a lot of people get insecure about their tank setups, but there's, it's not worth stressing because uh, my tanks are nothing that special either, and I'm a real person, and it's uh, it's just cool to check out other people's tanks, no matter what they look like. But yeah, what was I talking about? Uh, Paul, oh, Mac and Show had the question about, uh, this. I, I talked about it, make sure your Oscar is of size. Does that filter have strong flow? It looks like it would be great for the hill stream tank. Uh, what's cool about it is you can actually turn down the flow and there's a dial, which is really cool. So these filters are extremely popular because I'll, I think a lot of people are afraid of their filters, like hang on the backs failing and overflowing, like and having water flood all over their house, which the likelihood of that on a hang on the back is like, I would, because they have an overflow built in, a lot of people don't know that, so. All right, so the, the, the middle holster was ceramic media. And these on the outside are just plain, I wanna say it's a 20 PPI sponge. Fluval's very, they're an advocate of the 20 PPI sponge. And that's probably what makes their filter so good. And you can tell this has definitely been used because it looks like crap, essentially. God, I'm gonna quit saying essentially 300 times. All right. Oh God, this thing's like a fossil. All right, let me click refresh here. Yo, Palmer just got a sponge for the 30. It's a 125. Why did I call you Paul? Don't call me Paul. Don't call me Paul. All right, so here's the inside. And I'm guessing the pump is at the bottom because that's where it looks like it is. Simple as that. And this is a 7.5 watt pump. So what I want, when you, feel, when you figure out how to modify a filter, sometimes a big deal is where the water is, bring, is being brought in and is being brought out, the intake and the output kind of. So it looks like these, these holes is where the water is being sucked in and these are where it's being sucked out. And the outtake or the output is at the bottom of there, so you can kind of see, you kind of can't. Sorry about the lighting, I should have had a flashlight on hand, but I don't. So the question is, how would I modify this? One, one way that you could modify this is, it would be really simple, is to just cut a giant block of sponge. Like the, the AquaClear sponge would fit in here perfect. You could, you could cut it up a little bit and just jam it in there. And that would be pretty economical because 
Um, here's a piece right here. This sponge, 20 PPI, would do okay. It would probably polish your water fairly decent. It would get really good biological filtration. Um, but if you want to polish your, if you want to polish your water, you might want to get some of this polishing pad. And this stuff, you get it on Amazon. I'll throw a link to it in the description box. It's like uh, 100 micron. You can get 100 micron to 500 micron. And what it is is it is. It's the pillow batting. This is the pillow batting, which is known for polishing your, your water. The unfiltered Aquarius says, hello everyone. That's a super cool username. The unfiltered Aquarius. I feel like that could be LRB, LRB's username. All right, so maybe if you wanted to polish it, what you would do is you could, uh, I'm trying to think of an idea of to where you can modify this filter. What I would do is probably maybe run the ceramic. I would, I actually wouldn't run the ceramic in here at all because ceramic works great, but the sponge holds biological filtration very well. Just make sure that you don't squeeze it out too much. What I would do is um, I would wrap this sponge in the polishing pad and I would just stuff it in there. And that way the outside of it where it's being on the, right against the intake I'm trying to think of this because you want you want the polishing first as an easy accessible removable you know because this stuff's gonna get clogged up really fast so usually you want it on the first level you know like a lot of people do it as like a filter sock um, or actually maybe you'd want it on the inside this is a tough one because it's a weird design you know what I mean what do you guys think dang more white stuff guess the koi will have to wait a bit longer to go outside yeah snow i know right it sucks all right you are one of the youtubers that got me started on my youtube journey that's sweet unfiltered aquarist i would make half of it high flow sponge and half polishing sponge but I would not stack them. I would put the high flow one in front so it grabs the big stuff. Yeah, that's that's probably a good, you know, essentially, essentially just like they have it designed like these for the holsters. You know, like these might not be, these might be maybe your best bet, but maybe instead of having the ceramic on the inside, maybe you have the polishing on the inside because these, the, the 20 PPI sponge keeps its cycle pretty well. And, you know, that way you're getting the largest particulate on the outside with the 20 PPI sponge. And on the inside, you just stack it with this. Um, you could probably even cut it up and put a bunch of sections in there and have it to where the middle of it is polishing essentially to be completely honest though this is pretty economical like the ceramic for especially new fish keepers if you have somewhat of a new tank or if you're somewhat new to the industry the ceramic is really going to hold your cycle together pretty well so it's you know i might claim defeat here as the idea that i maybe want to modify this and maybe you could get like you could go totally redneck on it and maybe cut some of these, cut a sheet up and just place it against here. But then again, that would, that would clog it up pretty fast. You could maybe do that for an hour. You could just like, because I'm guessing that once it's in the water that, you know, if you just put a sheet of it right there and it would stay there for probably an hour and it would probably polish the heck out of your water. And then you could just pull it off and then take it out. But then again, when you go to pull it off is all the particulate just going to fall off and back into your water and just you know it's that's the thing with filters like you can waste a lot of time just kind of like trying to hijack these things and some of them are pr made pretty well especially the fluval ones because they've thought this out <clears throat> make sure you hit the thumbs up guys yes friday fish facts is in the house or i should say his house <clears throat> all right guys so 
I feel like I lost that battle. The Fluval U-Series filters are actually pretty dang good. They're pretty uh, designed pretty well. It's, uh, I would never buy one. If you want my complete honest opinion, I probably would never buy one of these just because there's not a lot of space for media. And I know that it's, it's an inside tank filter and that makes it super popular, but like this, um, this pad is tiny. Like, look at how thin that is. And it's, although if you had like a little 29 gallon tank, or if I ran this in one of my tanks, just as like a cycle, cycle starter, and I could throw this in new tank setups that I build for people, I would maybe enjoy that because uh, I could just throw this in the corner of someone's new tank for a month or two and just have it jumpstart their tank. I would like that idea actually. Because I'm constantly plagued with, when I set up tanks for people, um, how do I jumpstart their cycle? Because I try to do everything in one day. I try to like, I set up the tank, fill it with water, get it with fish, and a lot of times I'll throw a sponge filter in there, but they hate the look of the sponge filter. So, and, I'll, and I could tell them, hey, this is going to run with, this is gonna run in your tank for a month. And when I come back in a month, we're gonna take it out. So it's, you know, and I, and I, I like to set up tanks for people because if I can get them addicted to this hobby, I'm going to do it. Rick Ferguson is in the house. Um, by the way, shout out to Predator Nation. I just went live in his Facebook group. One of my favorite Facebook groups, by the way. So, this is because I'm a Predator guy at heart. <clears throat> Andrea says, Palmer, my dad, said all he saw at the fish show was fat redneck women. Hmm. That's kind of weird. I don't know what show you're talking about. We're talking about the fish show? That's probably, that was probably mildly offensive. I probably shouldn't have said that, but what can you do? I love my sponge filters. I want to run all my tanks in just sponges. My nanos are, are, but my bigger tanks just has two hang in the backs and sponge filters. Yeah, what you should do is just um, get, the, get the Pro Series sponge filters I talk about. If you search for any of my sponge filter videos, the Pro Series, there was a lot of mix up with those sponge filters, by the way, because uh, what happened was they kind of like ran out of stock and then they sent people the wrong ones because they sold out of the high flow ones and they thought that that was gonna be good enough. But then people were messaging me saying, hey, I didn't get the super high flow ones. I got the the other ones. And those, they're still a really good sponge, but a lot of, I, I really was selling to people the high flows and that they, they told me to call that the Pro Series. So, Redneck Aquatics. Ironically, we were just talking about Rednecks and Redneck Aquatics is here. He says, what's up? Good evening, everyone. Jamie says, hey man, how, how's things? Things are great. Um, I'm editing videos right now and I'm converting video formats. There's a bunch of um, updates that are gonna be posted on the shop and it's just taking some time to compress some videos. Usually what I'll do is I'll just, um, I'll, I'll throw these up and then I'll walk away and come back. But I was like, you know what? I'll just go live tonight and just hang out. So why can't they have an aqua shell here in the Midwest? I know, right? It's like, there's no events around here. And uh, what I want to do is start getting together. I want to have some meetings at my house. And because it, this is kind of, this is kind of, gonna be a little further down the road but once I get my setup in the shop going what I want to do is run like meetings here and I want to start doing auctions and the reason is because I crave more auctions and here in Minnesota we have a great fish group or fish club essentially the Minnesota Aquarium Society but they only have two auctions a year and it's and a lot of us where I live need to drive like an hour or two just to go to the auctions and it's not happening. So I want to do like more of an auction close near and kind of just do start doing meetups and events here at my house because it's, uh, I think it'd be super cool because there's a lot of people, you know, like closer to me that would like it. And even if it's like only 20 people, 20, 30 people would be cool and I could video it. I could do like a live stream of the auction. I think that'd be really cool. And maybe I'm not, I don't want to step on 
the Minnesota Aquarium Society, but I want to create my own little aquarium society and call it like the Midwest Minnesota Society or something, you know, just kind of something little and geeky and it's, you know, it is what it is. Steven Perez. I have a good friend named Steve Perez and uh, I don't think he's here though because he's not into fish keeping. So it's, you know what I'm saying? But Steven is pretty close. Cassandra says, get more people into the hobby and we can get events. Yes, I would like to do that. So Cassandra, you will be there because you live eight minutes away, even if I have to come pick you up and bring you. <clears throat> I used to work car auctions. Yes, I want to do fish auctions. And it'll be cool because right away I will have, if you guys follow the channel, I will have half of my shop set up as the fish room and the other half is going to be wide open so I could at least for a little while, I could at least set up some tables, I could run an auction in there, it could be really cool. So, and I wanna take advantage of it. Hey Palmer, love your shows, watching from Ontario, Canada. You are helpful and entertainment at the same time, rumble on, buddy. Yes. Um, what were we doing on this topic? We we're modifying the U-Series filter. I kinda just wanna keep these on topic. Great channel and I enjoy your content. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Steven Perez. You don't go by Steve by short, do you? Because one of my good friends is named Steve Perez. <clears throat> I know that's one of the, that's a super common name though, so. <sighs> All right, guys. I think I'm going to end this stream and let it upload. I kind of want to just keep, I, I want to jump to a different topic. So we'll probably be back on in like 10 minutes on a different topic. So make sure you have your notifications set and we are going to be doing a different topic just because um, that was kind of off the cuff. We we're gonna modify that filter and uh, I wanna try to think of a different topic. So maybe we could talk about a fish or just some other topic because I kind of wanna keep it topic derived. The predators are doing good. I'm still kind of sad about losing my Texas cichlid. <laughs> Ah, that fish, duck lips, man, duck lips will kill a cichlid so fast, so I'm just, I'm still sad about it. By the way, I'm looking for more videos of species spotlights because I'm pretty much caught up. I'm editing some um, videos right now on goldfish, the Thai silk flower horn, the flag tail, and I'm kind of up. I'm kind of caught up as far as species spotlight. So if you think you have a cool fish that maybe I haven't done a species spotlight on, I can share your video and talk about taking care of the fish and kind of just like research it. And it's um, just hit me up on Facebook. So Chris Weber, or you can just search Palmer Aquatics. I'll be there. Have you modified the filter yet, Chris? Yes, we talked about it. You know, with the Fluval filters, I'm going to claim defeat. They have done a pretty good job with the U series filter. Uh, check out the just free watch the live stream. I kind of take it apart uh, Dissemble it Disassemble it, right? Is that how you say that disassemble? Yes um, Cool filters. I'm not a huge fan of the Inside tank filters because there's just not a lot of room for media um, If you're wondering my favorite filter on the planet, I get asked this all the time my favorite filter hands down is the overhead sump. So it's a sump on top of your tank. And I'm gonna be building one soon. So it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna be doing a video on it. So Charlie says, do you want some video on the glass catfish? Yeah, that would be awesome. I haven't done a video. Let me make sure I haven't done a video on the glass catfish. I just kind of searched my YouTube channel because I have like 600 videos or something like that. So it's, uh, um, let me make sure. Glass catfish. I don't think I've done one on the glass catfish. Looks like Dustin, Dustin has done one. But yeah, that'd be super cool. Just message me on Facebook, some video. And uh, if you can, try to take the video sideways with your phone, if you're using a phone. And just message me the, the videos on Facebook, so. <clears throat> Ooh, red tiger manganese spotlight. Just got seven of them as fry. Yes, they are. That's a good idea, actually. Yes. Did you do a video on the Cooley Loaches? No, I have not. So you guys have a bunch of video ideas right now. I actually have some Cooley, a Cooley Loach, but I don't think 
that I can get video of it because that's all they do is hide. So if you got video of yours, send it to me. That would be excellent. I'm getting excited researching all these fish and doing videos on them. Looks like Corey's done a guide on the Cooley Loach. Yeah, that that uh that reminds me, I have a Cooley Loach. I could get some footage of it, but if you have some too, that'd be awesome to send it to me. And I always give uh, credit to where it's properly due, so. <clears throat> JH Aquatics is in the house. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, life is good. We got a, some snowfall here. I'm gonna be uploading some videos on some updates on my shop build. It's all coming together. I'm super excited about it. So we were just kind of ending this live stream. I'm probably gonna be doing a different topic. We talked about modifying a filter. I'm doing some video editing. I just went live in a bunch of the Facebook groups and nobody was there, ironically enough. Um, you could do videos of shrimp. Yes, I could. I feel like I don't know enough about shrimp though because I mean, uh, fish I've caught, I've kept so many fish through the years, but like shrimp and stuff is, I wanna keep some shrimp first before I start you know, I don't, I don't want to claim to be an expert on shrimp because that is a whole other wormhole. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this stream. Um, I'm going to check out this chat. I'm going to make sure to message me, those of you that talked about sending me some of that footage because I'm super excited. <clears throat> Just tuned in here, near Northern Ontario, near Duluth. Yuck on the snow. Yes, brother. The snow, man, is driving me insane. It sucks. God, I was just, I was, I was, I was this close to putting shorts on because it almost reached 70 like last Tuesday. And I was like, it's here. I'm in the shop. Uh, I talked about my mentality just like coming alive. I, uh, I'm not going to let it kill me though because I'm doing so well and working in the shop. Long fin Oscars. Yes. Jamie, if you have some, send me some. I should go live in my Oscar Fish group and ask for some video of those. That reminds me. I'm going to do that right after this. So, all right, guys. Uh, I'll, sh I'll um, Andrea, shop update's coming. Uh, video is probably going to be uploaded tomorrow morning or else tonight. So, actually, it's 10 o'clock already. So, it probably won't be tonight. Ah. <sighs> Should I go live again? I don't know. It's Saturday night. All right, guys, I'm going to end this real quick, and I'm going to jump on again in like 10 minutes. So check your notifications, and I will be live in 10 minutes with a different topic. Uh, I'm going to think of a different topic. Oh, I should I should summarize what I talked about. I'm, um, I modified the Fluval U-Series filter. I talked about how it... Um, sorry, I'm just kind of weird about my outros and I need to recap what I talked about. I modified this. I talked about how I probably won't even modify this much because Fluval, if we're being honest, Fluval is really good at what they've done. A lot of other filter companies kind of suck at how they load their media and their media selection of choice. This is pretty good though. So I'm going to give this a thumbs up and I probably won't modify it. All right, guys. By the way, if you're looking for a link on that filter, I'll throw a link in the description box to Amazon or maybe Chewy or something. All right, guys, see you in 10 minutes. Whoop, whoop.